Okay. Hello. Uh, so how many of you are PHP developers? Nice. How many of you are using WPCLI? Awesome. Uh, do you use WPCLI together with PHP? Okay, cool. So let's try something new today. Um, if, if you ever see me doing any WPCLI, you saw me using um, WPEvil command. So I'm going to just go to my local environment. This is freshly installed. Oh, no caps. Okay. Right, this is freshly installed WordPress, and you probably see saw me doing this, WP Evil, and then um, echo WP login URL. And you get this. And this is annoying uh, because you can't use this. Um, uh, it's not in a new line, so what you do to uh, make that better, you just add a new line. And hold on. We don't want errors right away. So here is usable login URL. Okay, so that's what you probably saw me doing. There are other ways to do it uh, with WPCLI. Uh, you can use uh, so evil is obviously command to um, execute PHP function that I've been using more than I care to admit uh, on servers. So when you have uh, a function you want to execute just once, you go to server and you do use evil and it's all jolly. You can use also shell. Has anyone used shell before? Okay, cool. So. What is shell? Shell is PHP console open in uh, your terminal. So uh, here I can just do WP login URL and it will give me string. So I can do other things, you know, you can get things from database, you can, uh, you just run something to see what will it return on that specific, um, WordPress install, I can also say print r and get, for example, users. It has to be a function, Milana, right? And you get all the, so you see how it happens? You can use it as PHP. It's not very readable though, but it is useful, so you can use, you can do the same thing uh, with WPCLI and with shell, depending on what you are more comfortable with. So for example, if I want to get the option, WP option get, um, for example, blog name, I can have it this way or I can say WP shell and say get option blog name. And I get it, I can update it the same way uh, here. So I can update it with uh, WP, with PHP. Uh, I can say update option and that, you see, I know this by heart because I practiced for this workshop. So, yeah, I, I don't usually know all the functions by heart. So I can say blog name, that is the option name, and the second parameter is my new value, which can be WPCLI, for example, two. And now we have error, thank you. Um, yeah, because Right, I'll try to copy paste it, which is always a fun thing to do in terminal. Right, and now apparently I've changed it, 
So let me get out of the shell. Let me open this install. And you see, it's updated WP CLI 2. I can do that with WP CLI, like option, update, um, and then we have blog name. I hope it's, no, I hope it's like that. I don't know, we'll see if we get error. Oh, it's updated. So when we go back, so see, depending what you're more comfortable with, PHP or WPCLI, you can do these things. So uh, that was enough fun and play. We have work to do. I'm just kidding. Everything is fun and play here. Yeah. So this is something I really, really love. Uh, and it's a command evil file. Have anyone been using this? Nice. I see just hosting people <laughs> using evil file. Okay, so uh, evil command will execute PHP uh, code. Evil file will execute, you guessed, PHP file. And this is where the fun begins. So let's first see what this function offer us to do. It says um, evil file, file, and then some kind of arguments and skip WordPress. So this is a nice thing. If you want to execute just file, but you want to skip loading all the WordPress, and maybe you have some error there, you, you don't want to run on that error and stop the execution, uh, you can do that as well. And what are the args? It says, one or more arguments to pass to the file, they are placed in args va uh, variable. And there is no example here. But usually, WordPress, uh, uh, WPCLI commands have examples. And let's see what's happening there. Because now we know there there are two there are parameters that we can use arguments, but there's no. So what you go, what you do, this is what a good open source citizen do. You go to source code and check evil file command, and. You see here is example, so it's not visible. So let, let's see this. When I uh, was just testing out, I didn't know how do I put this? Do I name it? Do I, you know, how do you use these arguments? So here we see in this example, it's value one, value two, and it's all in args uh, array. So because there is an example that is very useful, and it's not visible, that is a bug. So you see this, three days ago, I opened PR. So that's what you do when you are a good open source citizen. I just updated like 20 minutes ago, so I hope it will get um, committed soon and merged. Okay, so let's create PHP file and see how that works. So how you do it in terminal, you say touch, and let's say um, WCEU PHP, for example. Now we created this file. Let me find it. Do you see it? Under, oh, okay, thank you so much. So let's open it in code. I usually do things in, um, in terminal, but now we are going to write serious PHP. So talking about serious PHP, we are gonna do, um, Echo, <laughs> hello, WordCamp Europe, you rock. 
For example, this is the most serious PHP. And how you execute it. So let's delete all of this here. I don't know why this happened. Actually, I do know, but it, it's not what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna just type the command. So evil file and the name of the file, ECEU um, PHP. Let's go back to terminal. And when we execute it, oh, hello. This is great, but again, we have this in the same line, and that is so annoying. And luckily, we can create the, the, the professional uh, uh, messages for terminal as WPCLI is doing. So let me introduce to you <coughs> internal API for WPCLI. So you can find it in uh, make wordpress.org CLI handbook and then we go to references and internal API and here you can register your hooks and commands and you can do stuff with output so this is what we want to do now let's take this log what log does is, is just give you a nice message, nicely formatted message here and and we can remove that one. Okay, now this is important always to follow coding standards so you can and should allow every string for translation. Now, if we run it again, yay, we rock. Now let's pass some parameters to this file. Um, the documentation says uh, there is a args array that we will get it so let's see how that will look like i'm just gonna um, print it here and as you saw there was just value one value two so uh, if i say wp will file and then file name and i can say maybe mm, i don't know workshop is great mm -hmm. there has to be a space okay so you see what happens here this is array and you get um, every item every word is one item in array so I can do here um, something like, um, you know what we could try? I haven't tried this, so maybe we break things. But uh, we can try to, instead of the, the actual hard-coded word, to find some value from uh, the WordPress install. For example, if we want to get the site name, uh, we can type WPCLI, but we can also use the get option, blog name, right? Uh, so how you do it when you have already one command uh, and you want to uh, use another command as a parameter for this command, you use dollar sign and then brackets and inside you put a command. So let's say WP option get blog name. In theory this should work, but let's see what's going to happen. Oh my God, this is beautiful. <laughs> So now I can say here, um, I'm going to remove this. I can say, hello, WordCamp Europe. Um, 
this site name is and I'm going to say args and zero. So whatever word I pass first, it will be, uh, it should show up here. Um, so I'm just going to repeat this. Oh, yay. I hope you see the value of this. But um, you probably don't want always to just pass arguments. Some, sometimes you, you want to, but uh, maybe not, not always. Maybe you just want to write a PHP file and uh, just run the functionality. And the use case for that would be uh, for example, I saw many times people asking, uh, can I export uh, WooCommerce products, but not everything, just, you know, the name and the price and maybe something, some argument. So you have to do a lot of uh, custom coding to do that, and then you test it and whatever. You can do it here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to install WooCommerce for this. We, we are going to use something just uh, uh, similar to that. But any kind of entity, uh, you can actually just uh, create a functionality to export to SCV file and then import to some other WordPress install. Now, don't get me wrong, you can do this with the WPCLI as well. So let's, let's try users. Let, like WP user list. You will get all users, right? <coughs> we have only one, and I hate to work with that little data, so I'm going to say wp user generate, and look at it go. We have 100 users now. Um, wp user list. Yay! So, uh, what we can do is WP user list and then do this users CSV because default output, um, actually, default output you saw was a table. So, what we will get now here you see users uh, CSV. Let me open that with. Um, um, okay, let's go like this. Mm -hmm. uh, we save them here. Here is users. So this is what you get. Default output is uh, with this um, column names. And this is what, what you get. Display name, user email, this is by default. You can actually um, make those fields customized. So maybe I want, let me see, I, I need help here. And this is great because you can get all the help from a terminal. So I can say, fields and then fields you see you can uh, uh, define format as well and these are the the fields that you can use so let me say i want to do id user login um, email and i want password here user pass okay because that is so safe to do um, so fields, fields, okay, uh, it's going to be ID, then user email, then user, uh, what did we say, login, and user pass, and then I want to put it in users CSV. Now let's open it. And you see, it's different. 
So what we can do with uh, PHP, maybe you don't want to type all the time all that parameters and fields. Maybe you just want to execute because you're lazy like me. And maybe you are more comfortable with uh, PHP. So we can start here with users equals get users. So you always want to go to documentation to see, sorry, get users to see what parameters are there. It's array of arguments and then We can do many things here. What I want to do is, uh, I want to show you this. So when, when you get users, you get a lot of argue, uh, a, a lot of info there. So let's just um, print users. Uh, what was that? WP evil file. Um, this one. Um, yeah, okay. So you get here a lot of it. We don't want all of it. What we wanted was just those fields, right? So uh, we will go to find fields. Here we have. These are the fields we want to get. Um, so it's fields, and fields is array, and no, this should be, sorry, array, and then write. So from fields, we wanted ID and then user login, user, um, what was their email, email and user pass. And by coding standards, every array last item has to have a comma, okay? So now uh, when we run users again, um, you get far less. Now, I don't know why is this happening. Maybe I need to update something, but I get double ID. And when I remove it um, from the code, I get no ID at all. Uh, that started happening yesterday. Maybe something for debugging. Maybe I just really need to update my system. but. Uh, this is what you get. So now we get this um, much better manager, manageable um, data. And now if we want to put it into a um, CSV file, uh, we can use pure PHP for that. And uh, there is a function that I forgot. What's the name of the, I didn't, I'm just pretending, so you know it's okay <laughs> to forget it. So let's write CSV to PHP. You see, this is the first result. Uh, always go to official manual. So it's F put file puts CSV. And there, ex there is example how to do it, so you need two additional functions for that. You need to open file, then you run through uh, uh, run a loop through the array of data. You put data in that file. Every array is one row, and then you close the file. So let's just copy all of this. Actually, we don't need the list. We need only this. Is everyone following correctly? Everything's fine? Cool. 
if you need any help, yell. I don't have cookies today, but I might be able to help. So I want to rename this to be users, but from PHP. And you see this other parameter is W, that means write, but what that actually means is the pointer, uh, every time you run it, the pointer will be at the beginning of file, so you will lose all the data every time you run it, it will uh, overwrite it. There is another parameter you can use if you want to append, and it is A for append. And as always, uh, I suggest going through documentation and just see what's there available. Um, so here you, you see all the parameters that you can use and Maybe they fit better for your specific case. So we have the array of users. And then um, we are going to say for each users as user. And now we put user. And I'm going to comment that. So we didn't take a good look at this one. So what it says here, first parameter is stream. So that is the file, the PHP file that we are, uh, the SC, well, any file that you want to put your data in. Then we have fields and that is an array of string. And this will give us error. Does anybody know why? running this function like, like this. Do you see this? Yeah, we, we getting from get users, we are getting array of objects. And uh, this function wants array of strings. So we need to, every user that we get here, we need to convert this object into a array of strings. So we're going to say user array, no, equals array. And I'm going to copy this from here. Select. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. To select all of that, copy and say it's user. And like this. So now we have a nice array. And we are going to change this here. OK, and then we have, um, we close this and it should work. So let's see if it works. We don't have any feedback, but um, we have users PHP file here, users PHP CSV. <laughs> and when we open it, ta -da, we have everything. And ID is not doubled, so that's good. But we don't have these uh, table names. So that is the difference. If you do it this way, maybe you don't need it. Maybe it's, I don't know. Uh, maybe there are ways to add it, but you can, as you saw, easily do it with WPCLI if you need those. Uh, column names. Uh, so this is good, but I want to have uh, some kind of feedback. I feel uncomfortable just, you know, running it and kind of let's hope it works. So you can 
do this just add it here um, hello and let's say this user um, user nice no we don't have we don't have nice name we have login login rock so, so for every user we should get yay they rock okay so now we have exported that but maybe maybe we want to have a nice table like WPCLI is doing table and we can do that with hold on with internal API uh, what we are going to do here is see this format items and this is how it looks like so we have items, array of items. So this is array of arrays. And uh, then we have <coughs> table. We can choose uh, if that's going to be uh, Oh, where, where does it say all the parameters? It doesn't. But everything that uh, you saw, so output can be uh, JSON or CSV or whatever you want. We want to do table. And then we have this array of uh, items key value. This is actually the column title. So I'm going to just copy this. And paste it here. Um, table items we um, so what we need now is array of arrays we need an array that will catch every user array we created so I'm gonna start above the uh, loop and I'm gonna say items equals empty array and then I'm gonna add here items and just add the user array to it and we have items okay and now we need these uh, names for columns so we need these and I'm gonna just get them out of here and let's say fields right uh, so this is our array of items and here fields now my Visual Studio Code is um, yelling. There's some errors, but I don't think there are. So here we have the right. You can also add here uh, a way to execute the uh, WPCLI command from PHP file. So I'm going to delete all these users except for my own original users. So um, I'm going to say WP user delete. Now, the parameter here is ID. So what we can do is say ID2, ID3, ID4, but that's not how you use terminal because when you have terminal, you are the most powerful person on server, right? 
so what you want to do, you want to combine it with other tools. Um, again, um, I, I want to execute. Uh, so when I want to loop through all the users, I used user list, right? And I need here parameter ID. So I need to loop through users, get ID for every each of them, except for my own, because I want my administrator user to stay there. Um, so let me see. User list help. Always use help. Um, this is what we do uh, when we want to return a field, specific field. We are going to say ID, right? So this is control output by one or, or more arguments of uh, user queries. So uh, I want just ID to be returned, but also I want to exclude my own user and I don't see here um, option to exclude and that's actually this one control output by one or more arguments so you can choose uh, which argument will be here and this is what i have exclude so i need id of a user to exclude nice we can say wp user list now i said i want field that field it's so bugger that you have to type it correctly field equals i know id so this yeah but it's php as well so you know that that's not excuse not to use terminal uh, so field id this is what i want to be returned, just ID of every user. And my specific field that I wanted to add is exclude equals ID of the user. And I want to exclude myself, which is, I think, one. So let's, let's just run it here. OK, nice. And let's check if, yeah, one is excluded. So now I have my loop and I can use this as a parameter for the delete WP user delete. And as I said, when you want to execute another command as a parameter of one command, uh, you use dollar and brackets. like this, yeah, proceed, and this is removed, user list. So now I have only my own user, and I can say here at the beginning, um, let's go to internal API, um, input execution, <laughs> we want to run command. So I just deleted users because I want to create new users inside of the file, not because it's very useful in this case, but because uh, you might want to execute something uh, before running. Uh, so. Uh, here is the usage. You have um, options, and then we can try without options. I don't know if it's doable, if we will get some kind of error. I don't know. We still didn't have any serious error, and I'm kind of sad because of that. Um, so return true, OK. That's fine, parse JSON. I don't know, yeah, we can use JSON. Uh, launch false, yeah. Uh, exit error, 
okay that's fine and command args so you can add you know global parameters to this like additional args uh, I'm not gonna use this and as you see uh, you omit uh, WP when you do it this way so you just uh, have a command and I'm gonna say uh, user generate because I want uh, this oh and I said we are gonna try without options let's see if we can break it We didn't break it. Mm. So, sad. <laughs> so sad, yeah. But now we have different IDs for these users and they all rock. Let's open the CSV file and yeah, we have the different IDs. So we generated users and we exported them to a CSV file. <clears throat> what we can also do uh, is if you need, we can change this to append and now run it again. And when we open we should have Right, we have appended, so we've saved the previous ones and we appended um, new ones. Now, we have only 16 minutes left. <coughs> I wanted to do, yeah, six minutes left. So we don't have, I actually wanted to add a, a script to import users as well. So I'm just gonna, uh, show you quickly how to do it. So you have uh, put CSV, but you also have um, uh, on this documentation uh, page, you will get the <coughs> get CSV. And this is how you would do it uh, to in another uh, WordPress install, you would do this. So you will open, again, you, you need open and close file. So you will open this file. Data is where your users are stored. So you will not need this for loop. You will just need data is one, uh, uh, one item in data is one user. So you can just add them and uh, you can use insert user or, you know, whatever PHP function. Uh, a WordPress function and you would get all the users inside of your new uh, install. And that's how you do WPCLI and PHP together. And there are a lot of more things, but we don't have enough time. And, oh yeah, I have last slide. So my name is Milana Tsap. I am WordPress engineer at XWP and the loudest member of the documentation team. Uh, you can find me on these places. I'm also a classical musician, so if you want to talk about that, yeah, it's fine. Uh, you can find me uh, uh, on these places or you can find me here in a hall. I'll be here two days uh, for any questions, any discussions, any proposals. If you have a hosting, you have server, you want it broken, I'm there. <laughs> And thank you so much for your time. We, hi. we do have time for one question, if there's any from the floor. Yep. I was wondering how the performance of the WP CLI is compared to the WP JSON API. Is it better, is it worse? Oh, uh, I, I don't know, I didn't measure it. I'm probably not the right person for that. I do care about breaking stuff and, and finding how things work, but uh, uh, if you really want to talk about performance, we have in at XWP a lot of people who really knows that. So I'm just breaking stuff they're fixing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We can break more, so I personally love it more, yeah. <laughs>
Maybe and, one and he's the the person yeah. actually you can talk to. It's Mike yes. from XWP. Any, just, just one more, one more before we end. Any more? No? Yes? No? Okay, fantastic. That was Thank amazing, you. Milana. Thank you. Thank you so much. And before you go, there's a token oh, of appreciation presence. from the team. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. All right.